hello and welcome to this video tutorial this is going to be a video on uh, on saving um, data from Google Maps into a lot in, into a database and then uh, retrieving that data and displaying on Google Maps uh, using a tooltip or uh, using info window or whatever it is so basically what we are trying to do is uh, is, is, uh, is take uh, the latitude longitude or uh, give some description to that and then save it into a database so we'll first have a look into the database um, this is the table the database that is called the Google Maps and uh, this is also a table uh, which is called the values um, and if you if you look at the structure of values it has an ID it has a lat it has a long okay I'll just rename this it's supposed to be L O N G <coughs> Okay, it has a longitude and uh, DES. DES stands for description. Now, um, one thing you have to keep in mind is that latitude and longitude will have uh, negative values and it will have uh, um, a large number of decimal uh, digits. So, um, make sure that you keep it as double. Um, int won't, int um, will not um, handle decimal values. So, you have to make sure that this is always double. <coughs> Okay, now the next thing that we have to do is, uh, um, is, is, is uh, to, to get the values from this particular thing. So this is actually a tutorial that I've already done. Um, this is called the autocomplete. Um, so if you have not uh, watched this uh, tutorial on autocomplete, then you should probably watch this because if you, don't, if you didn't watch this, um, you know, like you won't, you will find this really confusing. So over here you can see that if I can type um, India, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if I type India and then click on um, the selection, I get the latitude and longitude. So what I want is actually I need a description over here and that give another um, input element or a form and then put this um, inside a form. Right now if I inspect element, you can see that this is inside a div with an ID of value, but this is not inside a form. So if I want to submit this and then insert that submitted value to this particular table, I need to create this as a form. So we'll do that first. So this is the div um, with ID value. So I'm going to wrap this div um, inside a form um, and then uh, give action to a particular uh, page called save.php. Now what is save.php we'll see soon. And if you want you can uh, give a method. Um, it's going to be post and then I'm going to close the form and then I'm going to create input um, type equals um, submit and then I'll close this so basically what I've done is I've created a form then I've created a submit button to submit that form and this div will hold um, the the uh, the the input elements that are dynamically dynamically created depending upon the place that is chosen um, from the drop down so yeah so as I told earlier we need to have a description um, box also so what we are going to do here is uh, is add um, add a description over here um, and so over here I can I'll type in description Oops. and then I'm going to type in input type equals <coughs> text and uh, yeah now another thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is that um, these input box doesn't have a name so we need to give a name for that so we'll give a name as a value and then uh, put a, a square bracket over here now this is in to indicate that this um, value um, this name value is going to have an array of uh, values or uh, this is this is basically having an array of values so so over here also to, um, as la longitude also you need to have um, a name that is again I'm going to give it as value and same goes for description now the reason why I have taken values as an um, for um, as the name for <coughs> I'm really <coughs> Excuse me, please. Um, the reason why I have um, I have chosen name as a, as a value um, is is because um, say if you it's because um, you will have the first element as um, 
that is um, the counting starts from zero right so the zeroth element is going to be latitude the first element is going to be uh, longitude the second element is going to be the value or the description okay now again if you for the second location so for example if it is not just one location if you have multiple locations um, if you have multiple location then over here this is going to be the third element is going to be the latitude of this particular uh, location uh, then the fourth element is going to be the latitude longitude of this particular location and it goes like that so if you can get the count of uh, the the number of values that are present inside the post array um, you can actually create an sql statement um, and then insert uh, uh, it to the insert that value or that you know run that sql query to um, insert the value inside the table so if you don't understand what i'm talking about um stay with this tutorial you'll learn um, why i'm saying this i mean this is not the only way by which you can get uh, values um, into your table there are plenty of other ways um you know if you are using um, a framework then you you won't need uh, to create something like this um you you can just call the save method inside your framework and that will get your work done for you um i prefer cake php um and um I wouldn't ha wouldn't be doing this um, in 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 cake PHP in this manner. Um, so this is for um, you know like um, tutorial for people to understand this. Um, so this is the save dot PHP file. This has nothing but two st um, three statements. The first statement is nothing but the connect statement, which will connect to database. I mean the yeah database MySQL database, and this will um, select the database, which is nothing but Google Maps. Um, I hope. I think I have already talked about uh, the table. Um, now, what we need to do is insert into this particular table. Um, in, insert into this particular table called the values. And uh, I have a mistake over here. This is supposed to be L O N G, right? So, over here, if you look at this L O N G, right? So, I've just renamed that. Okay, now, you, if, you, if you can create um, a string like this, um, an SQL query like this, you can just um, execute this SQL and get um, the value inserted in your database. So for example, over here you can see uh, a values and this is the first set of values. Um, this is going to be the second set of values and you can give, you know, you can create n number of values and you can insert that into the, into the database. Okay, so we will be doing something like that. So if I just print our uh, this post array what I can get as uh, something like this so I'll just refresh my page and then I'm gonna type in USA and then uh, Mexico and okay uh, now I'm gonna give it give this as um, this uh, uh, description then I'm gonna submit this so what I have over here is, uh, is, is this big array uh, with the zeroth element of uh, latitude um, and then the first element is going to be the longitude and the second element is going to be USA so basically what this has is uh, the first three element is is, is, uh, is for the first uh, location okay the second three elements is uh, for the second three location and that goes um, okay now, now what we need to do is uh, you know get the first three elements um, create um, create the value create this uh, this part get the second three elements a uh, set of five second three uh, elements and get create this part and how many ever I mean uh, you know like uh, depending upon the number of places um, you can group into three and create these uh, the string and then you can um, uh, you know you can um, create the rest of the st strings and append uh, this particular part to the string um, that we have already created and then um, you know execute the query to insert that into the table so we'll see that um, soon so for what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a for loop for dollar I equals or I'll do one thing um, uh, say um, I'll keep it as I itself dollar I equals zero dollar I less than count of dollar underscore post of um, value the reason why I've chosen like that is this is the post array this is going to be the value and uh, yeah so it will count the number of um, key value pairs that are present inside the post 
array with the key values okay so this is what it counts so basically over here we have five uh, elements so this is going to be five over here and then I'm going to type in um, dollar i equals dollar i plus three so so what basically this does is it will iterate every three sets of um, three sets like um, it will iterate um, every three sets so which means it will take the first three set then it will um, it will increment by three then again it will take the first second three set I'll show you what exactly what I'm say, talking about so I'm going to create a variable called SQL and then I'm going to copy this part okay then I'm going to paste it over here so the first thing over here is going to be the ID which will keep it as null um, MySQL will automatically increment the ID this part is going to be the longitude so I'm just going to copy and um, delete that and then I'm going to append um, the post array over here so I'm going to type in dollar post of uh, value and then I'm going to say I want to get the zeroth ith element so which is like this okay so ith element is going to be when we start from here ith element is going to be zero so inside dollop uh, underscore post inside the value inside the key uh, value it's going to be an array and uh, the value with the zeroth key should be the latitude of the first place okay I hope that makes sense and after that I'm, I need what I need is uh, the longitude right so I'm gonna copy that and then paste it over here uh, this is going to be the longitude of uh, the place and uh, this is going to be uh, the the last the that is the last one that is description so in order to get the longitude I need to increment I with 1 and in order to get uh, description I need to increment I with 2 I hope that makes sense and then I didn't terminate the string so I'll terminate that but I have an error over here yeah the error is just because um, I don't need a Okay, now I think that's working. So I hope um, this is clear to be uh, clear. Um, basically, what we need over here is that if you if you start counting from zero, dollar underscore post of values is a, is going to be an array, and then we have the zeroth value inside that array. So dollar underscore post is this big array, and the zeroth element is going to be the first um, la value that is a latitude of the first place. So likewise, you have the second place uh, second uh, value. This is going to be the longitude, and then the third one is going to be the lat, uh, the description. Now, after that, we are incrementing i with three. So, which means from zero, it is going to be incremented by three. So, it starts from three over here, right? It starts from three over here. So, over here, the first value will be three. Then comes four. Then comes uh, five. So, what we have is the first value. That is this latitude then comes uh, this value and then comes uh, the description so I hope that makes sense and I will echo this dollar SQL and uh, and uh, we'll see what we get I'm going to resubmit this form and this is what I get um, but but then if you noticed uh, we just have one set of values we are supposed to get two set of values the reason is um, inside the for loop I didn't append this uh, so every time SQL is created it, it gets over you know overwritten again and again so go, I just put a dot over here before the equal to simple so this will append to whatever is already present inside um, this variable so if I just uh, resubmit this form you can see that I have two locations USA and Mexico so another another thing we have to keep in mind is that um, you need to put a comma after this only if you have a third set of values so we don't need to have a, a comma for the last set of values so for that you need to use uh, the sub str function of uh, um, PHP that will let you remove uh, the last comma so I'm gonna type in sub str SQL 0 and then minus 1 so basically what this does is um, it will remove the last part of um, the SQL okay 
last one um, one um, what is it um, the the one string okay one uh, one letter or whatever the, that is so what this is going to remove is uh, this part um, this uh, comma so we'll just um, we'll just uh, resubmit the page and we don't have that comma there so that's it um, now what we need to do is uh, we need to um, add this much things um, I mean these things basic things um, to this present SQL so I'm gonna type in SQL equals I'm gonna append this again and then um, no okay um, I'll type in query I'll create a new string a new variable query query equals okay I'll paste it over here um, insert into Google Maps dot values and this is going to be ID lat log and description and then values is going to be this SQL so I'm gonna copy this over here and then append this over here into this um, particular string so this query is actually the actual SQL query that we need to execute to insert our value into the database so what um, so yeah that's it um, so we'll just ask echo um, dollar query and we'll just um, die the statement over here and uh, we'll see what exactly what we are getting so basically we have the entire mysql uh, insert string insert into group uh, in the google maps dot values id latitude longitude a description values um, yeah that's it um, now we need to um, call mysql query to run this query and then insert this uh, into um, our table so mysql underscore query is going to be this query so this should insert so i'm going to get this um, status is equal to so if uh, I have a status or if insertion was successful I am I'm gonna echo out um, inserted and if if else echo error so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna refresh my page so I get something like this inserted so I'm gonna go back to my PHP my admin uh, browse the table called values and what I have is all the <coughs> excuse me um, what I have is all the mm, inserted I have um, like uh, four values inserted um, I think that um, the rest of it I had already inserted it earlier so I'll delete the entire thing and then we'll start from scratch um, Okay, I'm going to type in um, USA and I'm also going to type in Canada and this is going to be USA this is going to be Canada I'm going to sub in this okay insert it I'm going to open this browse yeah this is what I have I have uh, two insertions that is USA and Canada so this was the first part of Google Maps um, uh, mean, um, saving um, latitude and longitude into the database and then um, that was the first part uh, now in the next part what we are going to do is uh, get this data and then show it in a tooltip so yeah that's it thank you for watching this tutorial have a great day bye